I'm gonna be really dead the whole day, but that's because of you. You chose it! It's legit! Good job, TikTok. Tong is a scammer! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an Instagram followers decides my day kind of video. I've been wanting to do this for many years. Um, it's not a new trend. It's been around for a long time. Since it's Vlogmas, I finally have the time to do it. Usually these kind of videos, I need to like kind of set aside a full day. That way we can actually enjoy ourselves together. And I wanted the video to be a lot more like comprehensive and a lot more fun with you guys and interactive. Throughout the entire day, I'll be posting on my Insta stories asking you guys live to choose for me what I should do and there are gonna be things like polls, there are also gonna be things like suggestions. I wanted to make it a little bit more two ways, a little bit more like interactive and after 10 minutes, I'll decide on the activity that has been highly voted. So yeah, above 50%, that will be what we'll be doing. Just a disclaimer, this is not my usual routine. I don't usually have a full day to just do the things that I want, unfortunately. But my girls have been working really hard on coming up with some content ideas for this video. And I just saw it and I was just like, mm. here's some activities, like the first one that I don't usually do, like working out. I'm gonna post my Instagram stories now and I'm very, very nervous. Help me decide if I should be swimming 10 laps or trying a Chloe Ting workout. Morning folks! Alright, so today you guys are gonna be deciding my day and the first poll is got to do with exercising. Uh, so choose between these two for me. Oh my god, my god, I just posted. <laughs> I don't usually exercise in the morning. I'm so tired, like my body is just aching and breaking down. I'm getting old. Like swim 10 laps, like I don't even do that on I know you guys are gonna want to torture me. Gonna wanna choose like the activities that see me suffer lah. So <laughs> we'll check back at 9.50. Oh my god guys. It's one more minute to 9.50 and so far 67% swim 10 laps. I knew it. I knew it. Ah! I don't like to swim. <laughs> okay, so I just changed into my swimsuit. I really don't want to do 10 laps, but for you, I will. Let's go. Cheryl was like, I don't want you to suffer. And I'm like, I'm just going to take a while. And I'm going to be really dead the whole day. But that's because of you. You chose it. I was hoping for a Chloe thing. I look like a frog. <laughs> that's two laps. Your fifth Why, you're, you're halfway there. <sighs> okay, but it feels good actually. Come on! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! It was actually not that bad, but I feel like it's sleep inducing. Let's go and get breakfast! Okay, so I'm all showered and right now I need you guys to choose for me Should I go natural or should I go glam? I've got two outfits that I just posted on my Instagram So the first one is a black dress that is pretty long and it has a cowl neckline And the second one is a crop top and denim shorts option The crowd has spoken, it is 62% casual and 38% glam so thank you so much for making my life easier and I'm gonna change into it now I'm just gonna go with something extremely quick and simple just like what I usually do maybe in the meantime while I do my makeup I shall ask you guys where should I go and eat next whether or not I should be going to a cafe or a hawker center I need you guys to choose where should I go and get brunch. Would it be a cafe or a hawker centre? Help me choose! The votes are very very close right now. 52 versus 48. I don't mind actually, I don't mind either. I'm just super hungry right now. I'm gonna keep it really simple because this is a very natural casual look. 
Same for my hair, I'm just gonna blow dry it with my air wrap. I'll come back in a bit. Alright, let's go! Pocket one, I expected that. And now I'm gonna put a suggestion box to ask you guys to tell me which hawker centre I should go. I'm gonna leave two hawker centres that I grew up eating at. And I've actually not been there in the past few years. Kalai Airport and another one is Changi Village. Alright, taking Smurf for a spin! So now we are heading to Changi Village. My favourite thing over there is obviously the nasi lemak, but I'm very scared that the queue damn long. If Nasi lemak is not an option, then I will do the Ipo Ho Fan. So, yeah. Okay, so we have the famous Nisi Corner Nasi lemak. You guys also recommended wonton mee and Ipo Ho Fan, so we got it both from the same store that had a lot of queue and Channel U sign, so I'm sure it's the one that we got correct. Let's go eat! Okay, so we're done with lunch. It was such a good lunch, so thank you so much for choosing. Right now, I'm gonna do my next poll, which is deciding my first activity of all the day, which is to choose between going bowling or going to play video games. I suck at both of them, and both of them, I don't do them often. It should be interesting. Okay, so you guys chose bowling, and that's where we are going. All four of us apparently suck at it, so yep, <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Alright, so we just put our name down for bowling because it's super crowded and there are 10 people in front of us. In the meantime, I need my coffee before I pass out, so I'm here at Starbucks. I'm gonna be asking you guys on my Instagram whether or not I should be trying something I've never tried before or the famous TikTok Starbucks drink. Okay, 10 minutes is up. The results were super close, like it's 52% and 48%, 52% being this TikTok drink. I think right in general, the older people don't know what a TikTok drink is, that's why the, the poll results are so close. <laughs> Happen to know what is the TikTok Starbucks drink? The white profile one, is it? Yes. <laughs> what size you Uh, just the tall. Thank you. Alright, so this is the legendary TikTok drink. Ice white mocha with sweet cream foam and extra caramel drizzle. Sounds like a lot of sugar. It's legit. Super sweet but at the same time, it's like an upgraded version of a bubble tea. The sweetness is not the artificial sugar kind of sweetness, it's very caramelly. Love it. Good job, TikTok. Okay, this TikTok person girl. doesn't like to drink coffee. So but the TikTok bet. girl. Yeah, how? Nice. It's damn good. It's damn good, good right? Okay. It's very expensive though. It's $8.40 for a tall. And it's literally written TikTok. I'm a TikTok girl. Flashback. Bowling or going to play video games? I suck at both of them. I suck at both of them. Bow, bow. Hey. <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh 
they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. How does it feel to be a winner? Thank you, everyone. Voila! <laughs> Is it fun? Okay, but we still got an answer. How does it feel to be a loser? It's okay, we got each other. We have each other. Take the mind. Mong is alone at the top. Give us a dab, Mong. Give us a dab. Do us a dab. Mong is a scammer. Freaking scammer. We don't regard her as a boss anymore. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so now I'm done with bowling and I have to do a photo shoot. I'm gonna ask my followers HDB or at a supermarket. You guys picked the supermarket for a photo shoot so here we are at Giant Hypermart we're just gonna go in and shoot some outfit photos so we usually shoot at parks or just like random spots in the office or like everywhere we go we hardly ever make a trip out to like a supermarket to shoot so that's why today is very special and you guys are coming along with us so let's go Okay, a lot of you guys told me to come and eat Hai Di Lao. Actually, I'm quite happy with it because I haven't had Hai Di Lao in like one month. So, missing the mala. Anyway, this concludes the end of our day. I hope you guys enjoyed following us on this journey and thank you for participating and deciding my day. I had a lot of fun with my girls. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next Vlogmas video. Bye!